Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Engage. In the last one, we did the hero, the, the hero king, king's trial, is that what it was called? Uh, but it, it was Marth's trial. And now we have one trial left, as far as I can tell. And so that's what we're going to be doing today, and then we'll be get back into the story. We might be very close to finishing the story. Um, I'm just not really sure. It seems like the story could end very soon, or it could continue. Just kind of depends on if we succeed or not. But I have no idea if they're going to let us succeed. Anyways, we are going to do the arena real quick. Get some extra XP for some of our characters. Do I remember? Oh, hold up, hold up. Some of our characters, I think, have items they're not supposed to have. Mostly just items that you pick out. Yeah, like this. Like, you're not supposed to hold a goddess's icon. That's not useful. You here have this secret book. You don't need that. Okay, I think that's everybody. What's the other thing I was thinking of? Oh, are any of our characters... I guess we'll see in here as well. Are any of our characters at their max level right now? Yes, yeah, Citrine. So Citrine needs to be upgraded in class. And then, I mean, Lapis is close. Ivy might level up. Ivy and Alcrest. So let's start with Lapis here. A royal soldier of Brodia. Sparring is a kind of experiment in itself. You are about to get destroyed. <laughs> You're going down. I'm eager to analyze what factored into my loss. Thanks for the sparring match. Well, you see, uh, you had literally zero chance, and she destroyed you. Must we continue? Oh my god, she didn't actually level up. I'm Lapis. Get ready. I'm a lot stronger than I look. I am. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I'll win the next one. Thanks no, for the no, match. I don't think you will, actually. Okay, what do we got? Uh, I wanted the strength. Okay, so I mean, like I said, both Ivy and Alchrist are kind of close. Should I throw some XP at them to make sure that they level up in this next mission? Probably. Ivy's a little bit further away, so. Do you think me a worthy opponent? I'm Tamara, the future Ooh, queen. This might actually be a decent fight. <laughs> Never mind. Tamara literally can't win. I lost. Fair and square. Lucky, I suppose. See, like, how how is it? Like, I feel like Tamara's okay. She doesn't really deal damage. I guess the Brave Lance was kind of a terrible thing to give her for the practice fight, because you can't make use of the Brave passive. So that's kind of unfortunate. Maybe if she had had a different weapon. But even so, like, it didn't even look like Tamara would have a chance, even if she procced Sandstorm against, like, our full damage ma uh, mage flyer. Like, you'd think that our tank should be able to at least, like, have a back and forth with our full damage character, but she doesn't do any damage to them. Anyways... Citrine, you are currently a sage. 
Let us look and make sure we don't have any better choices. I wonder... What about... Because wasn't I thinking of Mage Knight? Or some other classes? What does Sage actually give you? I guess I should find Sage in here. Sage gives you... Unit initiates combat with a tome, grants attack equal to the number of adjacent allies with tomes. Honestly, like, that's kind of garbage, right? Does not do a whole lot. Mage Knight. If unit initiates combat with a physical attack against a foe armed with magic or vice versa, grants three speed. That is only useful if we're ever going to use physical attacks, which as you could see, she would only have 10 strength. So... Actually, no. It would also be useful if we... attack a foe armed with physical things. We would get plus 3 speed. So what are our stat changes here? It ends up being a bonus. I guess it really only ends up being a bonus because we get four strength out of the deal, and that is not, we're not gonna use that ever. We're losing two magic. We're gaining two speed, which is nice. We're losing one resistance and one luck. we get an extra movement however didn't we just give you a new spell that takes s yes so you would not be able to use said spell okay is there any other magic classes high priest No, you wouldn't be able to use S healing or S spells anyways. Huh. There's really nothing better like Dark Mage or Mage Knight maybe. But right now, I don't see the point. Granted, the bonus is kind of good, because we're probably never attacking mages anyways, so we're almost always attacking physical fighters. So it's very likely we would get the plus three speed. However, the fact that we don't get to use our new spell is kind of a downside. Spell Harmony really isn't that useful, though. We're almost never gonna get very much out of it. And even when we do make use of it, we're getting, like, one or two damage out of it, which is not very relevant. But... I really want to go Mage Knight here, but I just don't think I can. I think we gotta stay sage. I wonder if some DLC is gonna put more classes into the game. It seems like there's an interesting assortment of classes that most characters can't access, right? Like all of the royalty have their own special classes, like Diamant, Saline, obviously the Divine Dragon has one, uh, Hortensia has one, Bale has one, Ivy has one, Tamara has one, Alchrist has one, uh, Alfred has one, Bogato has one, is that it? I guess it. But then we saw like Zephia had one, right? Which I feel like that class might be good for Citrine as well. But I just 
don't know if we can use it. Anyways. Let's get to the world map. Oh, I didn't buy another thingamajig. Ah, it's not that big a deal. I always like to replenish my second seals. So, last time we did this. Now we got this. And then we'll be moving on to the next story stage afterwards, which is what level again? Level 16. Alright, let's get here and see what this actually ends up giving us. I don't know how this is going to work, because usually she talks to an emblem at the beginning, right? Is she going to talk to herself as an emblem? That doesn't really make any sense. Oh, I, for I forgot to do bonds and supports. I'll try and do them after this cutscene. Oh my, are my eyes lying to me? This is quite a surprise. It looks just like the Lethos Castle Gardens. So I'm not the only one seeing it? It looks like the castle. But feels like it, too. The air, the smells, all of it. Right you are. I've served in the castle for many years, yet this vision fooled me at first. I know it isn't real, yet I still get a sense of nostalgia looking at it. My mother trained me in the castle garden. The flowers were in full bloom, like these. I remember it well. Alas, after the attack, that garden has been left in ruins. Oh, it has, hasn't it? Look, over there! I can see something glimmering. Do you see it too? Is that an altar? And on it, well, there's a ring. That's interesting. I thought we'd gathered all the emblem rings. Can it be that there were more? Perhaps an emblem we were unaware of. Let's go have a look. Wait, I wasn't expecting that. I feel a presence. There are enemies nearby. Corrupted. They must be here for the ring. We can't let them take it. That ring might belong to another emblem. I fight beside you once more, Divine One. Hmm. That ring. Could it be? I'm not sure what this is going to be. I thought I had it figured out that it was going to be the Divine Dragon's uh, paralogue, which I think it still is, maybe. But I, the ring confuses me. Anyways, let's do this stuff first. Are you for real? Okay, we're going back because we want to be able to get bond progress and stuff, right? Otherwise, it's just going to hurt us a lot. But yeah, I'm very interested as to what's going to happen here. And then I'm also very interested as to where the story is going to go. I mean, this game is definitely taking me a long time. I think part of it's because we're playing on hard, so we have to be a little bit more careful. I must admit, spending time with you has helped me better appreciate the unknown. I now see how charming strange creatures can be. You've given me a whole new perspective. I'm honored, Lady Erica. It pleases me that a princess like you would value my thoughts. I hope we can talk more. I want to learn all about the Entombed and Bonewalker monsters. Okay, so that gives us the shortened gauge. I know you don't need me to repay you, but I couldn't stop myself. How do you like them? All these accessories. Hats, swimsuits, masks, 
Where did you even get all of this? Yeah, why would you buy so many things? Can an emblem even use any of those things? You gotta appreciate a lady with a sense of style, am I right? Oh, uh, yes. I once cherished a lady who I thought to be quite stylish. Okay. C cool story, Leaf. Oh, she can get to A with people. Seedal, please hear me out. I think your dancing is perfect, and enjoying the things you love every now and again won't change that. What's this all about? I understand that your dancing is as beautiful as it is because you're so disciplined. But if you eat only to fuel the dance, you're not thinking how savory feeds the soul. Savory feeds the soul? Your inner joy surely must also be part of your dance, right? When you danced in the moonlight thinking of those who had died, that was truly beautiful. I'm sure that dancing while dreaming of savory foods must be distracting. You're trying to tell me my dance is less perfect because of this? Fuel your dance with things that bring you joy. We will feel the joy too. I understand that you want to dance perfectly to protect your friends in battle. All the more reason to fuel your moves with savory food too. Divine One, you don't understand. If I fuel my dance with just anything I want, that's playing with fire. My life as a dancer has always put function before flavor. <sighs> but I am starting to see what you mean about savory feeding the soul. You're very thoughtful, and that makes me happy. Thank you. You're welcome. And given you are the Divine One, I will take your advice to heart. In fact, that fried dough bathed in oil sauce from the other day, it's been on my mind. Then let's go order some. Now the question is, how much savory is too much savory? For one sitting. Perhaps we should consult the spirit of the cards. Ah, you saw my reading the other day. Divine One, I'm afraid you've only seen my undignified side lately. I've seen your charming side as well. I promise you this. From now on, you'll see a better me. I realize now the dance is both an inside and outside dance. Expect perfection. I'm happy if you're happy, Seedal. So you're saying that we could get to... I'm surprised we don't have other A's. You'd think that we would, because the Divine Dragon fights next to people a lot because of her passive, right? Maybe she just takes more XP or something, like more bond to get supports with people, just because you're gonna, you're forced to use her in every single mission. run an inn beside the finest hot springs in Elusia. Oh, I'm sorry if that makes you jealous. I can't help that I grew up an only child in the lap of luxury. Uh, wow. Sounds lovely. Yes, but... My parents have just informed me that the inn is having trouble with bears. Bears, huh? Ugh, they can be tricky to deal with. There's no time to lose. We'd better write up a letter telling your parents what to do. But I don't know anything about bears. I have so many talents, but dealing with terrifying predators isn't one of them. Leave it to me. I'm from a village where we deal with them all the time, so I know my stuff. Uh, really? Here's an example. Let's say you find a bear eating your crops, so you say, Hey, get out of here, fur face, or you're in for a world of hurt! The bear will be like, <laughs> oh, sure thing, and have lunch elsewhere. Wow. Yeah, is that how that goes? Seriously, I'm speaking from experience here. I've done it dozens of times. All right, you're the expert. I trust you. <laughs> I know lots of bear management methods, from intimidation to good old-fashioned combat. Uh, please teach me everything you know. <laughs> what, what a funny conversation. What do you mean the bear is going to be like, uh, sure? Wow. 
Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just so curious. Curious? About what? It's so... modest. I... I don't understand. You're a princess, yet there isn't a single bit of jewelry or finery on you. Your outfit is just so... modest. What does it matter to you? It just... It wasn't my fate to have lots of fancy things, I guess. Of course. I understand. And yet... Oh, how shall I put this? I feel a deep need to coax your inner royal out from hiding. I'm sorry if my... plainness bothers you. Oh my... I apologize, Lady Vale. I hope you know that I meant no offense. Just rest easy and leave everything to me. Oh boy. Leave everything... Wait, what do you mean? Let's see... I suppose it would be wise to start with the base garments. Oh, but a person's style is directly influenced by their lifestyle, so perhaps... Hmm... What does that mean? Oh, I'm not sure I want to find out. <laughs> oh boy. Citrine's quite the character, huh? Actually, most of the people here are quite the character. Lapis! Hey, Lapis! I heard you're a bear killer! Is that true? Hey, we just heard well, that. Yes, but please keep that a secret. Why? That's so cool! Uh, I don't know. Lapis, you have to take me bear hunting. Something tells me that you're not taking this seriously. Bears are really dangerous, you know. I am serious. I really, really am. I heard a vicious bear was spotted in the forest near here. Lots of people are nervous about it. I volunteered to take care of it, but Vander shut that down immediately. He said, You're not ready for that, Fram. Isn't that mean of him? I just want to help. I'm pretty sure Vander said that out of genuine concern for your safety, Fram. Nope. He definitely thinks I'm too much of a scatterbrain to confront a wild bear. I need to prove that I'm a worthy steward. Will you help me take that bear down, Lapis? Please? Oh, Fram. All right, if you really are serious about this, I'll help you hunt that bear. <gasps> really? But you'll need to listen carefully and follow my instructions. Wild bears are very dangerous. I will. I promise. Thanks for bearing with me, Lapis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good. Okay. Well, we're leaving now. We got all these, right? Yep. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're back to the world map. Now, so now that we know that the divine one can get to A with people, that completely changes my perception of what this mission is going to be. Now, I think there's a possibility this might be a new emblem. Or it will somehow be the divine dragon emblem. Uh, we don't need to see this cutscene again, I don't think. Maybe it will be the emblem of the Divine Dragon that people can wear, but we already have a ring for it, right? We have that weird, like, cross ring, but no one's allowed to wear it. So, I, I feel like it can't be that. So, I don't really know what it can be. How many people do we got? We got 12. Two have to sit out. So, we probably need to check the map to know who's going to be sitting out. What are you holding? You have the ring. It seems to emanate some kind of special power. Okay. You have money. I don't know what this... Are we escaping or what's... Or is he trying to escape? There's nothing really behind us. So what do we got? We got barbarians, swords, heavily armored unit, more barbarians, albadiers, mage knights, some martial masters, another mage knight. That's about it. There's no way this is all the enemies that are going to be here. How much resistance do you guys have? Quite a bit. But we have plenty of physical characters, so I'm not too concerned about that. 
more of how many mages do we want? We definitely need some mages because they have a lot of physical defensive characters. Okay, so we need to recover the ring or foe escapes. So I think they're going to try and escape through that top part. Okay, so of the people who aren't currently in the mission, there didn't seem to be any flyers. So I don't know that we necessarily need Alchrist. Or Mavier. Also, how's everyone's bonds looking? Lots of people are just at 20 already. So, what I'm thinking is we need to maybe try and attack him right away. I don't know if he's gonna fight or if he's gonna run. Up here, I kind of want to just face that with Tamara. I think that'll be a good strategy. Just have Tamara go up here, hold them off. Then... What's, how's your defense looking? Be better if Saline attacked you. This is going to get interesting because I think we're very quickly going to get dragged into fighting more opponents at a time than we want. Honestly, we need someone right here to fight these two. It's probably just going to be you. Diamant will probably just take on both of these guys. Should be able to do that fine on his own. Now, Lapis can reach. Okay, so like this, both Ivy and... Oh. Okay, I said Lapis can reach, but she can't really without the spear. I think Marin should go here. Marin can't get close enough either. I feel like what's going to end up happening on this side is someone's going to take like half a move and Seedal's going to push them forward. So if you were here, so this Seedal's range goes to there. That means one, two, three, four, five. You can hit the guy over that. Saline could also do that. So we'll have to pick either Saline or Citrine to do that part. One, two, three, four, five. Can't reach with a melee character. Yeah, Saline or Citrine. Here, Hortensia should be all the way in the back because she's not going to be attacking. I guess this is fine. Should I bring Vale over here so she can fight alongside the Divine Dragon? It's so like I said, I think they're going to end up being paired as the Divine Dragons uh, engage. But we need to get Bond up with them before that becomes a possibility. So this is essentially accepting then that we're not using Citrine with Seedal. We could however use Vale with Seedal now though.
Or we could use Marin with Seedal. We're gonna have to see how this turn one goes. I just don't have a basis on if this guy is gonna run away. It seems like he's probably gonna run away. But killing a boss who's running away through other enemies is gonna be very annoying. It makes me question if everyone should go together like this or not. Because right now I'm only sending one person off here to deal with these guys. It'll take them probably... Well, Tamara might take like two or three turns to kill both of these guys. Diamond, I'm fairly confident, can kill them both next turn. If he doesn't kill them on the, the counter attack. But still, if we're trying to then go this way and stop this guy, it's not going to work. We need to get in this guy's way. Or we could hobble him. But then we lose the ability for either Veil vale or uh, Saline to attack him. I think that might be the play. Hobble him. How much does that take away? Minus two movement. That seems pretty big. I think we need to do that. Also, does this... That doesn't help me. Okay. So yeah, I think that's the plan is to hobble instead. Right, I gotta click through that. So. Do you guys both have melee weapons? Yes. They do have that brave assist. I think you're just doing this. You could engage right away. That might not be that bad, huh? Might help her deal with them faster. And so you are gonna lower his stats, right? Anytime. You actually deal a lot of damage here. I also realize I could just engage with you, huh? Not quite a kill, though. I will obey. So I guess it comes down to who's going to be better to hit first with Ivy or Marin. Marin. I'm honored. You're gonna go right here. The choice is yours. I also kind of feel like you're gonna engage here too. My gratitude. Okay, so Marin doesn't quite pick up a one shot. What's her crit chance though? Okay, she's got like a 50% chance to crit. Odds are she will one-shot. So then how does this make sense to do? I guess both Lapis and Ivy 
want to attack on the same go. Because there's no way they're going to be able to one-shot. I just realized this is a little bit risky if they decide to attack me. What kind of weapon do you have? A tomahawk. I'm a little bit worried for Ivy's safety here. I'm just gonna hope that it's okay, I think. Nothing to fear. Is there any way... I think this move is the best. They're just staying here. To block people from Ivy. Though it doesn't actually block anyone from her, but... Broken, right? So I might as well just go here. Hmm. I mean, odds are in my favor here. Farewell to you. Okay, Why first hit is a crit. He gets hobbled. So now this actually makes it so that this guy can no longer reach Ivy. Which is interesting. So only this guy can reach Ivy. These two should be perfectly fine. I can't imagine they're going to be in danger. I'm being a lot more liberal with my engages this time. Because I feel like I can without being too concerned. Count on me. For peace. Let's go. Okay, and you want an axe. Probably just wield the killer axe, I guess. Okay, let's see what this guy's doing. Even if he is running, he can't go far, yeah. It's no use. I'll cut you Guys, please protect us. Nice crit. Okay, this is kinda what I expected. He really crit. I'm sorry, Oh no, on the nine percent. Also, she's gonna struggle if she doesn't land that crit again next time. Nothing short of a battle fit for Brodia. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed because like. Yeah, 
can't believe we get one shot. Why are crits three times damage? I don't like that. I guess she was dead even if it was only two times damage. Okay. I do have something I could do differently. Just this. I think this will be fine. I just feel like we still needed to take out his full health bar before Marion gets a turn. There is nothing to fear. Oh, whoops. Still just stay here so he can't go anywhere. Okay, so now we're rolling the dice again, but it's very likely, yeah, that she crits. I still have a lot to learn. I think everything else is the same. Um, we saw that Tamara crit against the first guy, and she did almost no damage against the second guy. So we're gonna hope for either a crit again or some sandstorm procs, because she did not proc sandstorm last time. And then Diamant also crit, but his crit chance was much higher, I think. Oh, she didn't crit this time. Crit against this guy, though. She also got hit by a 19% chance, but... Okay, she got the crit again. I mean, she has an okay chance to crit. Huh, a lot of the stuff seems to be playing out the same. Like he crit on the second attack there. Okay, so this turn... Saline's not going to be able to get in range. Tamara is just trying to hold these two off, I think. You be careful here, though. That guy can likely hurt a lot. Service. While I'm engaged, I have adaptable. Should make it so I'm okay against this guy. Quadruple hit doesn't kill. Man. I, my time. I don't know if it's just my Tamara or like. If Tamara's just bad. Like, how are you. How is she not killing this guy with. Leaf engage attack. That seems crazy to me. Uh, 
I think Diamant here. I guess this gives you the best chance to avoid, so you might as well keep it on. He's looking to cut them off. I don't think he's going to be necessary. Actually, should you go Tomahawk here? How much range do you have? You only have two range. The Tomahawk's fine here. Low hit chance, though. Okay, it came through. Citrine can't reach this guy, but Ivy can. We probably, I mean, there's a chance we could just kill you. We might not even need to hobble you, honestly. Yeah, even the Divine Dragon just kills. Oh, no, not quite. Okay, I want to see how much Veil is going to do here. She doesn't quite kill that guy, huh? Ivy does. Ready. This is not bad, right? To go there. I don't think I care if this guy attacks me. We want to heal before we do that. Don't waste it on me. I'll do it. Could also override. It doesn't appear to be worth it. Alright, that is a 100% chance to kill and not take any damage because you get broken. Or just crit immediately. That works too. Ah, this is interesting. I feel like you could fight two of them. I'm scared of those guys because they both have uh, wind spells, which are good against flyers. But I feel like you could take on both of those guys. That should be fine.
That's an exact kill. Okay, we also got a crit, so that made it overkill. Okay, you are not heavily armored, so this... Oh, it's a 0% chance to hit me anyways. And it will kill. Oh, you could crit the break defenses? Interesting. Oh, that's a lot of people. Okay, so we don't have to escape, we just have to kill them. Ooh, okay, this puts Tamara in a really bad spot, though, huh? Oh, I just realized that took a turn. Like, it put it back at the start of our turn. But it took, like, an engage away from Tamara and stuff like that. That's kind of awkward. I would have rather had this guy already dead and Tamara had already made like a ranged attack from here. So now I think Tamara needs to run away. How is it looking over here? Lots of heavily armored. Guy also has money. Okay, so this is gonna get interesting. We're defending this middle spot. I think it's just the best and most logical strategy. Trying to get some bond between these two, right? But it's kind of just an awkward position. Um, so you can get to here, which means you can heal to there. You'll be able to heal to Mara. These are all swords, so she should be fine. They're all melee swords. Gotta watch out for the horse archers coming in for our flyers, but should be fine. A little bit concerning here, huh? I think Diamant's just gonna go do his own thing. He could run back here and help, but like... I think it's more fun for him to not do that. Although... The hit rate against him is kind of high, unless he's using this thing. I feel like he needs to engage if he's gonna go for this endeavor, though. We'll figure out his turn in a second. How... Okay, these guys are gonna be upon us next turn. They have great lances. It really sucks because someone like Tamara is not going to... Can't go up here and grab that. It's almost like we, we got punished for killing him so quickly, right? I think it's supposed to be harder to kill him, but since we use the combination of Hobble 
and just units that could reach him turn one and take out two of his health bars turn one. We're kind of getting punished because we're poorly positioned. So you can't go up. That's not good. I need to figure out how I get bond between these two first. How does this fight go? Okay, that seems fine. Oh, you even have an Armor Slayer. Do I take the Armor Slayer and risk losing a lot of my health? Yeah, probably. It's the difference between a 34 and a 4%, but... Still, odds are in my favor that I dodge it, and the amount of damage is dramatically different. Actually, now that I think about it, though, I think it was just statistically the wrong move. If I'm not mistaken, I think Vale would have been able to kill... Yeah, Vale would have been able to kill even if I had only used Liberation, so that was a misplay. Um, how many people do we need and where? I think at least for turn one, we really don't need that many people up here. So I think... I want Vale to be ready to go back down and rather than up. I'm strong after all. That's a really good level up, except for speed. We needed speed, but that's okay. How aggressive do I want to get with my defense here? I guess we should probably figure out what Tamara's doing first. I think if she does this... No one can attack the square right behind her. Now the Divine Dragon is very hurt as well, so I think Hortensia needs to be the one to heal this. Because Hortensia heals more. That helps. Wait, which one's the World Tree? Oh, okay, so I saw this trigger just now, which means we didn't use a charge, which is correct. So then you go right here and mend. Yeah, I feel great. I think we just kind of sit out of range for this turn. Get ready to counterattack next turn. I'm almost tempted to just let Marin take it though, but she could sit here. Problem is, is I should have put people in range for her to proc her passive if I was going to do that. It's just a shame because her engage is ticking away because of how that... How it worked when we killed that boss, it essentially we lost a turn of engage on everyone who had engaged. So if I do this, this is actually not bad, right? This has, like, almost no downside. I'm getting attacked by the same people. 
and I get rid of one immediately. We do get hit on the low chance, but it was also low damage, so it doesn't matter. I think I just want to be here. Okay, Seedal's the only one with a turn. Does anyone need help? Okay, if I go right here, I heal all the people who need help. What are you doing, huh? I think you're just engaging and... There is the potential you could just Great Aether, right? Uh, I can't get these guys and those guys. Maybe I should do it like this, though. Make sure that these guys aren't coming up behind my squad. Um, and are this all gonna be physical damage? Thord, Silver Dagger, Silver Dagger. So that means we probably want to just use this for extra defense. Oh, I was looking at the wrong place for how much damage. Dang, she really couldn't kill there? Ooh, they can't even deal damage so they don't get the poison. She got some good damage down. Solid double zeros. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I won't let anyone down. I just realized that that's looks a lot like Ike's up special from Super Smash Bros. Okay, this is not good. These guys also didn't move, which I did not expect. So Marin can't do this anymore. I didn't expect them to play out like this. Okay, so I mean, that gets Marin out. She could always just like do that. Question is, it's not enough damage. I think I know. Ooh, 
look through weapons, see if there's anything that gives us a better chance of not taking damage. No, there's not. So this is our best chance. I won't wait this oh, the crit is big. There is nothing to fear. So essentially the idea here was that Lapis would kill both of them. But it kind of relied on Lapis not getting hit by one of them. Or the heal here being enough, but the heal is only 5, so I didn't think it would be enough. Ooh, we have higher stats, so the hit chance is even lower. Oh, and we used Air Raid. I always forget about that. Okay, and then we just want to get out of range of that guy. Uh, might as well sit next to you, right? Because we get... Yeah, we get the extra defense. Okay, so you want to take care of the dagger users. Probably first. You are going to be fighting a lot of stuff here, huh? That's going to get interesting for you. How do you fare against these guys? That's pretty good for you, actually. Ooh, only 85? Really? I guess we gotta take it. So Ragnell's kind of the best thing for him to hold here. Is he in range of the archer? He is. Okay. I want him to be in range of the archer because I want him to fight everybody. Okay. That could have been a bad miss just because we would have gotten poisoned. And that could stack up. Alright. What the heck are we doing about this side? You can't reach that guy. Well, hold up. Can't take that spot. But I could take this spot. Come here. Got it. Well done. I still lose the one HP even though I didn't even attack. That's kind of lame. I think we already knew that though. So, is there any way? Might as well just walk up and twin strike you, right? So I don't take damage back. Now my only concern would be... What weapon does it switch to after I twin strike? It's 
Seems like it should switch to the dagger. So the plan is to move everyone over here so they're all affected by Marin's passive. I think we want the Javelin here because there's a lot of ranged units. Um... Good, I could really go. Could use you to heal instead. Let's attack first. I think she needs to do the javelin. Huh. This has a higher percent chance to dodge. Javelin can hit back. Oh, it doesn't kill. That's kind of bad, actually. pass through. I was like, how's he doing that? He could just walk through. Hmm. Okay, so I think what it boils down to is this guy has to die. Ooh. You get doubled by wind for, for whatever reason. Wind is faster by one, which is enough to double. Okay. Me first. Adieu. Go ahead, heal her. Still a little concerned that she's gonna find a way to die here. Now, what should you do? You could probably just snipe. Hmm. 
this guy. Oh, you live with one health? I thought he died. Okay, well that makes me not really want to do this anymore. I'm also thinking about it. A character who has Hobble combined with Astra Arrows is interesting, right? Because then you could hobble someone from really far away. Anyways... Is here safe? Yes. Oh, he crit? Oh, he, he has to crit again, though. Never mind, he dies. Okay. I trust in you. That was very unlucky, but didn't actually ruin it for us. Okay, he did get poisoned, and he missed, which sucks. That's really bad. That was a lot of damage that I did not want to take. You'll get no sympathy from me. Why is his hit rate so low? He has that one passive that's supposed to make it so everyone's just super accurate when he's in combat. Okay, that's fine. That is good. Unfortunately, if it had been any other spell, that probably kills, but... I had to use wind, specifically. Ooh, a crit. Nice. I will not lose. Alright, so what are you doing over here? All of you are ranged. Seems like we're getting the most damage out of these guys, so... I won't flinch! Would like to kill you, if possible. It's a 100% chance to kill. Sympathy from me. Did we just proc a soul that gave us no health back? I think literally it gave us health back, but like only technically. Oh, I realize now that she still had the sword equipped. I was like, you telling me Marin didn't kill this guy on the counter attack? But she couldn't because she still had the sword. She didn't run out of engage till our turn started. I would like to night and day so I can get health back. There's a good chance he doesn't hit me, but even if he does, we end up almost full health. I won, my princess. Oh, you just got half of your bar from just that?
Okay, and I kind of want you to pick up this kill. So two people need healing. Could heal them both with Hortensia. But I feel that's not necessary. Huh. Ooh, nice. We actually still have a lot to do in this mission, huh? We haven't fought these guys yet, and we're still waiting for these guys to get to us. Wonder if I should send someone in to take the attacks. Fine Dragon's probably not a good choice. Mostly I'm just looking at like who Seedal could use his uh, extra life on. Thinking I might go in with Vale. The only problem is Vale can only go here, so she can only fight one person this turn. No, I don't think so. Nah, we kind of just want to get you out of that. Don't want you to be in range of that, though. Oh, he attacks slowly. I mean, that would have been a one-shot if he could hit. Okay, so now I think we got this bottom group of enemies actually moving. We missed that guy again, that's a shame. Okay, Diamant is still handling this side. 
I will not lose. That's a good level up. Maybe would have liked some defensive stats, but that's okay. Okay, so maybe baiting this bottom side was a mistake, because now we're fighting everybody at the same time. Okay, so Diamond's going to be fighting both of these and this guy next turn. Should be okay though. These guys are concerning. a one hit kill. We'll wait just a second because I don't know if she's going to need to help over here. These are a lot of people. What the heck? What kind of weapon do you have? A worm slayer. Worm slayers don't work on fell dragons? Wait, what? Oh. Wait. You don't have the passive where you're immune to weak against, though. I, the fell dragon is a dragon. I'm very confused as to why she's not weak to it. That doesn't make sense. We need to kill that guy this turn, though, because I'm putting people who are dragons right next to him. And that could be potentially scary. Finally got that ability back that we got rid of on accident for a while. I did not realize that this was like an offensive mage. I thought they were one of those healers that only have the martial arts. that I can't get to this square is awkward. Good thing we have a dialogue for that. OK, 
Okay, I mean, this is essentially a 100% chance to kill. Is there anyone else who could take out that health bar? This takes out the health bar. So this would require one of the chain attacks to hit. If we do that, then we can get one more melee person in range, so this is probably a good choice. Uh oh, we even hit an extra. I didn't know this fella was cool. Thank you for the dance. So now, like, she can come in here. Here's an interesting idea to get Ivy a whole bunch of extra turns. Seeing that we're kind of in a bad spot at the moment. Because these guys are able to reach people that I don't want them to reach. Like she's going to get attacked if I move uh, Lapis. I don't know how to handle this, because one of these two people is not getting the extra turn that I want. And I get that I could just put one here and one here, but the person going here can't do anything with their turn, right? So they're getting an extra turn, but it's essentially a wasted extra turn.
how does this go? I can't kill if I don't do this. Need help? Oh, holy stance is the thing that makes me do damage back to corrupted, right? Yeah. kind of see that I probably didn't have to use Byleth here, but now how I've played out the turn, I'm forced to use it. Allow me to demonstrate. I think it's also fine, because I probably don't need Byleth for anything else. don't kill, huh? And you don't kill that guy. You don't kill this guy? How? Why is this guy so tanky? thinking of something, but now uh, I'm not sure how I was going to do that. The idea was do this. I kind of hope she doesn't get the kill here, but it's possible she does. Okay. So I kind of want Tamara to pick up this kill. She could hit hard if she combines Sandstorm with a crit. That doesn't end the mission though, right? I don't think. No.
Okay, so the only thing to be concerned about here is this guy's gonna attack Citrine. percent chance to crit. Not exactly a high one. Okay. First of all, I'm doing this. I think we're just... oh, I forgot about that. Mm. I want to protect Hortensia. I think we just gamble on the fact that... Um, she crits. Not a very good gamble, is it? It's like very slightly in our favor, I think. Okay, she got it. Ooh, I just spotted a rare bug. It also gives her her engage back. This is what I'm talking about, like, we literally used Engage turn one, right? And we're just now getting it back. Granted, I think we did this mission so quickly that maybe this isn't representative of how it's normally gonna go. But we just now got it back to use again. Um, through natural generation without picking up one of these. Alright, so... Oh, you can reach me, huh? Who do I want to take this for Saline? Probably Tamara. Also, how's Ivy doing? Ivy almost has the XP. Who is the other one? Oh, it was Alchris, right? But we didn't take Alchris. Killed him. You have my respect. It's 
So now we just hope that Ike lives, or Diamant lives, but I think he'll be fine. He also just got to full health with that attack, so I think he's good. Yeah, he can't even take damage. He is gonna lose his engage here, though. Okay, let's handle this first. I think you go here just to block as much as possible from this guy. Is there anything else on the map? No. You can't kill him, huh? Maybe if Marin engages them. Oh, I was like, how is this guy not dying? He's being chain guarded by that other dude. Oh, that's what I had never thought of this before. They're chain guarding each other. So we have to break it. We break both chain guards by hitting this guy, right? I did this. My path is certain. All right, this is kind of nice. We got rid of all the chain guarding. Made them all so they can't move, lowered their avoidance because they're on water, and we Draconic Hex to them all. That was, that was a good one. So Ivy, you require a little bit more XP. You can't reach that guy. Okay, you can kill that guy. Okay, she got there. I'll try and remember to class her up at the end of this rather than the beginning of the next one. Sometimes harder to remember after I take a break. Hmm, that's not a very good fight. But you do have an extra life. Do you really not kill this guy? I mean, I guess you might just crit him. Let's do this now so we have Erica's passive. Oh my goodness. Well.
Okay, I could use Gold Mary to kill that guy. These guys are so tanky. This is good against cavalry. Help me be a righteous. Oh, you can actually do that. That's a good idea. Just crit immediately. Fate has brought us here. That's a lot of damage out of that move. Seems like you kill this guy. What about this guy? I think it might have to be the fell dragon that kills him. Oh, it doesn't work on sword. Probably best to just go from here. here. Oh, that's good. I think we might have needed that extra little bit of damage. Might as well just let you quadruple hit here, huh? Now, who's gonna do the best against this guy? I think it's just the regular Divine Dragon. With the Rapier. Do this, use great sacrifice. And then we will have you finish it up with this.
Yeah, I mean, Diamant obviously did a lot, right? He held off the entire right side the entire match by himself, so it's pretty big. So that was called The Connector. Figure out what this is all about. We retrieved the ring safely, but it doesn't seem to hold an emblem. Strange. Is it but a normal ring? It seems so. But when I hold the ring, I feel a warmth stirring in my chest. So it's as I suspected. What is it that you have surmised? The Pact Ring. It belongs to and holds the power of Divine Dragon Monarch Lumera. What else do you know about this Pact Ring, Marth? Lumera once said that Divine Dragons will give a special ring to someone they truly trust. The ring strengthens the bond between the two and brings them closer together. It grants special powers to the Divine Dragon and anyone they make a pact with, of any sort. So Mother once gave this ring to someone she trusted and had a special connection with? That's what I'd guess too. But she lost her friends and allies in the war. So who she gave the ring to, or if she gave it at all, there's just no way to know. Mother. But we know that as long as she lived, the most important person to her was you. You should inherit the ring. Give it to your most trusted ally. I'll think long and hard before I decide who's worthy to wear it. Oh, that we've arrived at this place. It must be the work of Queen Lumera. It's a happy thought, Mother watching over me. But the fight ahead is my own. I must be strong. Let's go. I'm reluctant to leave, but there is much work to do. Okay, so what exactly are we supposed to do with this thing? You've reached support level A with an ally. You can give that ally the Pact Ring to strengthen your bond even further. Okay, so this is specifically to... It's like overdrive with um, the bond, right? Because I assume the max is level 20 for everyone except whoever you give this ring to. You can find the ring in the memento drawer in your room. If you cannot find your chosen ally on the Somniel, try resting in bed a while. Oh, so you have to like actually give it to them. It's not just like something you can do in the menus. You can only give the pact ring to one of your allies. Choose the recipient carefully. Okay, so so far we only have one A, right? Um and that's Sea Doll. <laughs> We're not going to be giving it to Seed All because it doesn't make sense to give it to him. Like, he's not going to be a combatant, so it doesn't help us to improve the bond at all. Um. Oh my! I'm thinking it's not going to tell us what it does until we ah. give it to someone, though. Because, like, if we look at reference stuff, ring reference, let's find the Divine Dragon. Here. Oh, is it this? It, was this here before? This boon of Ilios? The user initiates combat, grant bonus to crit and dodge equal to two times the number of allies who have acted this turn. I mean, that's not the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Allies within two spaces with effective dragon gain effective fell dragon. Okay, so fell dragons aren't dragons. But why is... Why is a uh, veil labeled as a fell child and a dragon then? Doesn't make any sense. If unit initiates combat and defeats foe, grants engaged partner plus... Yeah, okay. Wasn't there a special Dragon Blast 
don't remember exactly. There was something that, like, gave us Dragon Blast Plus. Maybe you just had to stand next to the other person you had engaged with? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Like, usually right now is when we would know, we would be able to know what it's gonna give us. Right. But I don't think it is telling us. So... Well... So, like I said, I think I'm trying to get well... A with Veil, so we can do it with Veil. Because I also think that Veil will be a good target to, like, since we upgraded her dagger, she's actually a pretty wow. strong unit. Besides, she has very low health is her big disadvantage. Um, Sorry. And she's not quite as good at dodging as Marin is. But Marin is so good with Erica that I don't really want to split up that duo. <laughs> Um, and like I said, something like Lucina doesn't even seem... Like, Lucina's engage is not very good. Yeah. It's just kind of whatever. So it's almost like we can use Lucina's... Like, Lucina's passives are probably better than her hmm. actual sync skills. Like, the fact that uh, Veil vale wow. can now use a dagger to constantly have a chance to backup attack at... Uh, just uh, anytime yes. she's within moving range of a unit right. is very valuable because it means that we poison a lot of people for free. Mm. But I think that that is perfectly fine on its own. And then like, because Lucina's engaged, besides the giant shield, the bond shield that it gives, isn't that good. But we've also never even used the bond shield, at least not effectively. I think we like used it one time for fun. So, mm -hmm. like that's probably not even necessary to worry about, and we can just try and engage specifically with the divine dragon. I just wish it told me what we're going to get out of giving someone the pack ring. I guess we could always just save That's before right. we do it, right? Because if there's something that just like, happens to dis-synergize, is that a word? What's, what's the opposite of synergize? Oh, wow. Anti-synergize? Or an anti-synergy? If there's something that happens to be an anti-synergy with a veil, then I might want to pick a different target. But well. I think thematically, like, picking Veil is also kind of cool. Consider this. So I kind of want to do that. I think it'd be cool to have the Divine Dragon and the Fell Dragon, since they're already sisters anyways. Just have them, like, work together. Did I talk to Diamant? Right. Uh, maybe. Anyways. Let's get out of here. I wasn't... I didn't really read what anyone said here. Maybe I should have, because this is kind of a special place. I want to see specifically what Vale has to say. No. Oh. Okay. Well, she didn't have anything to say about this area. Let's go back. So, if they're not going to tell me what that does then we just need to keep working towards A with Veil. Vale. I'm kind of hoping we got to B in that, but I'm not sure. Because we didn't do that many attacks. I should have maybe like used Seadol to try and get us more uh, attacks next to each other. The other thing I want to do is I want to make sure I class up Ivy. Go ahead. Sure, we just want the same class again, right? I feel like 
It's kind of lame that there's only base and advanced classes. I get that that's how Fire Emblem has been for a while. But I kind of want like another tier of class, right? Like I feel like it should be like base, advanced, and then I get that um, hero is a class, but I feel like hero should be a specialization for a class, right? Like, it should go base advanced, like, hero level, or legend or something. Something cool, rather than advanced. Maybe that is a thing, we just haven't seen it. Although I find it highly unlikely that we're... That that is going to be a thing, and we haven't seen it yet. So what does this take? A second seal, I think? Yes. We need to go buy two second seals after this. Okay. We'll buy the You're second welcome. seals, and I'm gonna check supports. Um, if there's one with Veil there, I'll do it. Otherwise, we'll save them for next time, like we normally do. Oh, I just want it for the convoy. I thank you. I thank you. Do come again. Should I save in the room with the ring? Let's first look in here. There is one with Veil. Okay, yeah, so we did get it. We'll go ahead and do this one. Do you remember when you gave me the Dragonstone? I wish I could say I did. But everything from before I woke up is hazy. Well, you and I met just one time. A thousand years ago. We only met once? Mm-hmm. All of our siblings had died in the war. You were the only one to survive. And you came to see me. I was very young then. Frail and frightened, and you handed me the Dragonstone. You told me that you couldn't stay by my side, but that you were still with me, no matter what. Oh, so I said that to you. All that time ago. You did. The Dragonstone is shattered, but it was my protective talisman for a very long time. I held it close when Mama died, and when Papa returned and said horrible things to me, I knew that as long as I had the Dragonstone, I could be strong and hold on until I saw you. Vale, I... Even if you can't remember what you did, I am still so grateful. If you hadn't given me the Dragonstone... We never would have found each other again. I'm grateful, too. To think you held me in your heart all those years. Without you, Vale, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Now that we're reunited, we'll be together forever, right? That's right. Nothing can separate us ever again. Ooh. So yeah, th that's kind of why I want to have them be the the duo here. I want to go take a look at the ring. Let's save first, just in case I somehow accidentally give it to someone without meaning to. I want to see if maybe it'll explain when I try and look at it. Uh, where is it? Here. That's weird. Why would you need to take it out? <laughs> It seems like a really odd way to do it. I mean, we're not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna put it away. Because we obviously don't have A with the person we're looking for. 
But yeah, I think I'm going to save here just so we keep the ring in our mind for next time. But next time is likely going to be back to story. Probably the second dragon shard or fell dragon shard. And we will be trying to get the fell dragon and the divine dragon to fight together a lot in that one. Or at least next to each other. Um, so hopefully we can get A and then... If the next mission after that is the final mission, then hopefully we'll have the Pact Ring stuff done before then. But anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed kind of interesting. Not sure I understand exactly what the Pact Ring is going to do for us, but hopefully it's cool. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.